conspiracy theories, the paranormal, UFOs, aliens, and all things strange and unusual. This is Black Lotus. Welcome to Black Lotus, where we talk about everything strange and unusual. And uh, I am so full, man. <laughs> we had we had some mushroom Swiss burgers for dinner tonight, and I am just oh, god. They were delicious, but yes, they were. <laughs> but uh, you know what we didn't do though? We didn't suck the blood of goats. No, we didn't. <laughs> so, I suppose that's, that's next a good tomorrow point. for dinner. We yes, can do that. for tomorrow. Okay. <laughs> But anyway, that's what we're going to be talking about today. We're going to be talking about the uh, uh, El Chupacabra. And uh, I think we should, where we should start with this is I, I found out something that I didn't know before. And that is that uh, the uh, uh, first reported sightings didn't happen until like the mid 90s. Right. Yeah. Uh, I, I thought I thought it was an ancient legend. 1995. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, what happened was uh, it was reported as a, a bipedal creature, four or five feet tall with large eyes and spikes down its back and uh, large claws, very similar to what you're looking at right here. And, uh, and uh, people claim that it was responsible for killing and draining uh, the blood of livestock and that earned its name, uh, which in Spanish means goat sucker. Um, but uh, the first person to report the sighting was uh, Ma Madeline Tolentino, and she comes from uh, Canavanas, and that's a town in East Puerto Rico. Uh, and like Ralph said, it was happened in 1995 uh, that she spotted what she described as a scary alien-like creature. Right, it's nothing like we think of a uh, Cuba uh, looking like now. Right, right. It's a totally different uh, uh, entity. Um, but what I think is remarkable about this is how fast it went viral. Because as soon as she uh, uh, claimed this, a lot more claims were going around right. Puerto Rico. And then it, you know, and, and, and you know, and these farmers were claiming that their uh, livestock were being drained of blood. You know, with only two puncture holes, like in, in the, the neck. neck, right? So you know, because of how Dracula has been portrayed, you know, you know, they always portray his victims with two holes in their neck, and they're totally drained of blood. Um, but anyway, but and then it ended up coming to the United States. You know, these 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 tales of this thing, and um, and that's where people like UFO enthusiasts and and and. Uh, 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 well, uh, conspiracy theorists oh. um, kind of latched onto the story and right. made it even more viral. And you know, I was I when, when I was doing the research on this, I was I found that it was, somebody had said had this happened in the early '80s, it probably wouldn't have gone viral the way it did. But it, because it came out in the mid '90s, mid to late '90s, um, that's when you know I mean that's when the internet was around, right. and so everybody's scouring the internet for this stuff you know but i'm with you I, I thought that this was something that has you know lore and history way back to yeah. them but it doesn't no uh, uh but um so yeah um so but the thing is is that no bodies have been found in south america the only place where they found bodies was in the southern United States, like Texas, and, right. uh, uh, Arizona, New Mexico. And but most of them have just been canine. Right. And that's the thing. The, the ones spotted here in the United States uh, walk on four legs. And, you know, they're described as these uh, furless creatures and, and they're, they look emaciated and, you know, their, their snouts look wrong. And but they've they have bodies for this and they tested the dna and you know people who have shot these things farmers who have shot these things um you, you'd think that they would know the difference between, between like a coyote or a wolf right. and something like this but here's the thing is that um they've lost all of their hair due to uh uh is something called a uh, sarcoptic mange and sarcoptic mange is caused by an inch in itch inducing mite uh, that's called the sarcoptes scabi 
kind of like the scabies that I suppose right. humans get, but we've developed kind of, kind of a, you know, an immune system to them. It doesn't affect us the way it does them. But what it does is it burrows into the skin of these animals, uh, just just under the skin, and it. it I, I suppose it's 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 horribly. Uh, uncomfortable uh, uncomfortable I'm and sure. so what they do is they chew with their skin and they remove their own fur and so yeah and so the, but the dna confirms that these things are just uh, coyotes and dogs and uh, uh possibly wolves that have just contracted this stuff right you know? i mean it, i mean have you ever seen a bear without hair yeah, They're yeah. very odd looking very strange yeah so yeah. you know same thing with a, a dog or a cat without hair. They're very odd looking even. Yeah. But uh, so, yeah, there's a, I mean, here's the thing. There's, there's like two sets of bodies here, you know? Um, uh, there's also reports of dead livestock and that something is attacking these things and leaving puncture wounds and uh, drained completely of their, of their blood. But the answer again is pretty simple. And, but uh, you know, these, animals are more likely the victims of ordinary predators you right. know it's it's not uncommon for dogs or other such uh, canines uh to bite an animal in the neck and leave it for dead and, and huh? i was gonna say and when they do that the heart stops beating in the animal so all their blood rushes down to right the bottom it starts to hemorrhage and yeah. it goes down all to the bottom so if you cut them on the top, they're not going to bleed right. because all their blood is has sunk in with gravity to yeah. the lowest point in their body. You know, and the other thing too is that it's not likely that a creature the size of a dog would survive off of blood alone. Right. You know, because their metabolism wouldn't tolerate that and they'd quickly die. Right, exactly. You know? So, yeah, so... Um, but that doesn't explain the the alien-like creatures. No, in, um, in South America. But supposedly she had just watched the movie Species. Okay. And described almost the same exact creature that was in the movies from her sight from the sighting. Really, really. Yeah. Yeah, I remember so that movie. Yeah. People are saying that that's where she got the idea, and she's just seeing things. Well. A lot of other people saw the same thing in uh, in uh, Puerto Rico. Now, whether or not they're uh, uh, copycat hoaxes or what they are, I haven't the slightest clue. But I did find out that uh, a lot of Puerto Ricans seem to think that um, it's this thing is a result of a top secret U U uh, U.S. scientific experiment uh, that's taking place there, kind of like Montauk Island. Oh, that kind of okay. thing, where they're developing these weird creatures, and escaped. One or two of them have escaped, you know. So, but yeah, they're very different from the uh, uh, chupacabras that we know in the United States. Right, right. Know? Well, they've been known also in Russia and Philippines, so they're worldwide. Are they really? Yeah. Hmm. Wow. But uh, anyway, you got anything else on this? Not really. I mean, basically. There's my pr proof that they don't exist is basically there hasn't been any found type thing. It's kind of like Bigfoot, but all these dogs with mange that are being called Chupacabra. Chupa, right. No. There's nobody's found anything. Yeah, yeah. There's there's no real proof of this, you know. And if anything, in my opinion, there is proof that it's only just a dog, right? With exactly, mange, you know. That's but, what my thoughts are. I feel bad for those dogs, man. I mean, that's got to be just terribly terrible, uncomfortable, and 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 painful. I would imagine, you know. But uh, anyway, let's get out of here, man. Sounds good. Hey, folks, thanks a lot for watching. What do you think? Uh, do you think the chupacabra exists, uh, and what and in what form? Uh, but uh, let us know in the comments. Um, don't forget that we have a uh, uh, podcast over Podbean, and we, we are on uh, uh, iHeartRadio and Spotify and also Amazon Music. And anyway, it's called the Paranormal Net News Network. It's a little different from what we do here 
on Black Lotus because there we report the latest in paranormal news and we also talk to some fascinating people who are involved with the paranormal uh, authors and uh, investigators and that and so on and so forth. Um, also, uh, we have a Black Lotus discuss discussion group over at Facebook. It is filled with magnificent people. Uh, we don't have a troll in the group and it's really great. And we, what we do is we share articles uh, about the uh, paranormal, you know, all forms of the paranormal, whether it's UFOs or uh, ghosts or cryptids or whatever, what have you. Um, but yeah, definitely check us, check us out there. I'll drop a link to that uh, as well in the uh, description. Also. Don't forget to like and subscribe. We really appreciate uh, all, all of those thumbs up. We really love to see that those thumbs up. And uh, don't forget when you do that, click the little bell so you can be uh, notified each and every time we do upload. So anyway, thanks a lot for watching folks. Until next time, keep thinking and question everything.